Hi, fellow makeup lovers, fellow Venus rulers, subscribers. If you're not subscribed to my channel, welcome in. Um, today I will be doing the declutter of 2023 for all the palettes that I, most of them said that I was going to keep and some that I said I was going to um, declutter. Those have already been decluttered, but some that I said I was going to keep from 2022. I'm revisiting those palettes to see um, what decision I'm going to come with today as far as decluttering palettes that I no longer use or will not be using. So let's get started. Um, the first palette that I want to get into is the Fairy Flawlic. This is an Earthly Cosmetic, an Earthly Cosmetic palette. This one I didn't really get to use too much. Um, I do like it. It is pretty. It does have a lot of, you know, a lot of colors and a good color story. It's very pretty. Um, the only thing about this palette that really I don't use it's because it's like a grunge palette and I have a couple grungy palettes, but I do like the color story. So that's what makes me keep this around more is the color story. Um, so in the shimmers are very pretty. Like if you can see the shimmer from here, focus. Like they're very pretty, very pigment. And even the mattes are like pretty. So I'm gonna show you the green even a matte. So I think I want to keep this around so I could play with it for maybe the winter time, Halloween-ish times, because I've seen some stuff that I want to like do with this palette. So I'll keep this palette for now. But you know what? I'm just going to keep it because I just like it. So I want to keep this one right now. And moving on, the next palette. So this one is a cat for now. Well, you're not, I'm not even going to say I kept for that. This is a keeper. I'm keeping it. So I'm going to put it in a keep it pal, which will be right there. My next one that I'm going to be looking at is Natasha Denona Metropolis palette. This palette is very nice. It's a very nice palette. I like it. Um, I do see myself using it. And I do see me using shades in here. You know, that's very pretty. But it's very big, and I feel overwhelmed when I have big palettes. Like, I'm, I have too much. This one, for this one, I, like I said, I like the greens and everything. I love everything in this palette, but I just feel overwhelmed. Like, I just feel like this one, these two right here kind of make me keep this palette, if you can see that. Like, those two right there. But you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to get the bronze palette. And I'm going to get rid of this palette so I can have a smaller palette. But this green too. I love greens. This is a tricky one. Like It's real tricky. Because all these colors are very pretty. And I like the colors. But I like half of the palette, I'm not going to be using. But you know what? I have the gold palette. I'm going to take a look at the gold palette in this palette and see something real quick because I feel like if I have the gold, I might not need this. So let's take a look. Or vice versa. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to swatch. This is how I'm going to be able to make my decisions on what I'm keeping is by swatching. So let's see. Okay, this is how I'm going to be able to make my decision is by swatching. So first thing I'm going to do is swatch the gold. This gold is very pretty. Let's see that gold compared to that gold. I like that gold better. Let's see. Hmm, what else? This gold is cool, but it's just like a little too too darkish. Now this one looks familiar. This one looks like it may be similar to. One. Yeah, the color is very similar. Very similar to this one. It looks like. Look at that. These two look so similar. It's not even a joke. I'm already finding dupes. Okay, so let's see. 
this one kind of looks like that one. I'm going to see real quick. Let's see that. And then we go here. Uh, not that similar, but I like this one a little bit more. Yeah, that one's a little bit better. Hmm. Just off the look of things and how I feel right now, I feel like... I would like to keep Metropolis, Metropolis better. Like I would like to keep this one. Like this one feels much better for how I feel than this one. Like this green and that green right here. Very similar. Very similar. Too similar. Now if this palette, if this palette had this color and all the other colors i would definitely keep it well like i said what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna get rid of the metropolis from what i'm thinking right now i'm gonna get rid of the metropolis and i'm gonna get the smaller pan which is the bronze one and have this in the bronze but then i'm thinking this one has more colors Hmm. This is a tough decision for me. I don't use that color right there. I use everything around it. Hmm. Um. Something's telling me that I want to get rid of the gold palette more than I want to get rid of the metro the um, metropolis. That I want to get rid of the gold palette more than I want to get rid of the metropolis. Even though Metropolis has so much stuff in my face, I just feel like I might get rid of the the, um, the gold. Just because I'm not really a gold fan. But you know what? It has pretty greens and all that, but I'm not really too much of a gold fan. This has a lot more colors to me, too, a lot more worthiness than this one. This is just, it's just gold. I'm not too much into gold, so I'll be getting rid of this palette, the gold palette. I know a lot of people want to say a lot of things about it, but I don't see myself using it right now. And if it's not being used, it's just sitting around. So I'm getting rid of the gold palette. This is going to be get rid of. And when I'm getting rid of stuff, it's going to be, when I'm getting rid of stuff, it's going to be on the site. Um... Makari. I'll have the links in the description. Um, but this one is so far the Metropolis. This one is a maybe. So I'll put it in the maybe. Let me clean my hand off. Let's get to the next ones. This may be a quick video. It might not be too long because I just, I'm just getting rid of what I don't like or want anymore. A lot of things is going to be easy. So this I'm getting rid of this because I don't use it. And after looking at the Metropolis palette, I feel like I'm gonna have more use of that one. Um, like I said, this is cool, it's pretty, very pretty, but I don't see myself using it any more than I have. It's very pretty. I don't know, going back at it again, I think I'm going to keep it. <laughs> I'm going to keep this one because I could play around with this. So I'm going to keep this one. This is a keeper. One, it's hard to find. It's, you know, it's old. It's an old palette, but it still has some kick. Natasha Denona tri Trio Chrome Palette. Natasha Denona Trio Chrome Palette. One of my favorite Natasha's palettes. This color alone keeps me with this palette. That color alone, and then this color. As you can see, it's very pretty. And the multi combs in here, beautiful. The mattes, beautiful. I'm keeping this one because I just love the color story, and I will be using it more this year. So the Natasha Denona Trio Chrome Palette will be kept. Moving along to the next Natasha Denona 
my dream palette i just got this recently not too long ago probably a couple months ago when it first came out i'm keeping this because i love everything about this color story and i will be using it the color story is everything it just is so pretty and it's like it makes me want to do makeup every like more often than i used to so this one will be a cat um i'll be keeping this one this is not going nowhere i love it it's staying with me it's not going nowhere let's move on natasha denona retro palette i love the color story of this palette like i love that color story but i can't get my hands off of this this color it's a break for me for that everything else is beautiful like i'll keep it i love it but oh this is so pretty too i love that one i'm keeping this because the color story is it helps me it i just fall in love each time i look at it i may change the colors in here around play with it a little bit like move colors around and stuff but i'll keep this one because it's so pretty i'll keep it and look at that like why would i get rid of that <laughs> okay the next one i have is the natasha denona next one i have is the natasha denona sunrise this palette is pretty it's very pretty i like it it's different it's something that i can work with um i'm gonna keep it just off the fact that i like it this will be kept now we're going to go to the next natasha i'm gonna make sure i get all my natasha's together so i'm gonna have to go back and forth and i'm gonna put all my packs together and all my melts together and let's see pats over there got melts over here anastasia dear and okay okay so those are the miscellaneous will be there so th these are honestly all the palettes i have left in my collection right now because i really downsized a lot like like I downsize a lot, like I'm selling a lot. I'm getting rid of a lot that I don't have any use for. So um, yeah, let's move on to the next Natasha. Okay, the Biba palette. This palette, I wanna move some shades around in this palette. Cause this is my neutral palette. This is the only neutral palette I have besides my other, which is like minted and I'm keeping this one because I need a neutral palette and this would be because I like the, this will be in my collection because I like the formula It's very it's like silkish the formula but I don't know how to start the, describe her mats her mats are so soft like you know like and I like how it blends on me this one I'll keep and again that was the B, the Biba Bibia Biba palette and next Natasha which is my last Natasha in my collection is the lila palette i'm keeping this because i love the color story i love the color story of this i love purples i like pinks i like nudes uh you know i just love those colors so this is definitely a cap in my collection um i'll definitely keep this one around for however long it will stay around and stay looking pretty i'll keep it around so lila's ca lila's kept let's move on to one of my new babies in my collections this is the Mel Thomas, in, me in memory of Mel Thomas palette. I'm keeping this one. I love this one so much. The colors, the greens. It's like a grungy but nice palette. I'm keeping this one because it's just like Sydney Grays. You cannot go wrong with her shimmers, her multi chromes. You cannot go wrong with those. Like just alone. Like, it's so pretty. I'm keeping this. I love this one. I have a clean campus. I'm going to be moving on to Anastasia. This palette, I like it. It's simple. This is like the only Anastasia palette I have left in my collection. I download, downsized a lot of her collection. I mean, a lot of her stuff because it was too big or it was just too... It wasn't me, the color story. This is my favorite palette of 
ABH, aka Anastasia. I just love this one. And I'm going to be keeping this one around because it's so pretty and it's, it's, it's good to come back and play with it a little bit. Like, you know, come back, play with it. The color story is very unique. I like it. This one is staying. Next, Minted. This one is a, this one of the palettes I just use like to, to do a simple look or to use before applying the other shadow, like, you know, like a shimmer or something. This one stays because it's just simple and I love the mirror. This is so compact. I just love the mirror and how it looks. This is staying. Next is Lethal Cosmetics. So, a little quick story. Other Leaf Cosmetics that I had in my last video, I put up Macari is sold. So, I'm kind of keeping this because I like the color story. This one is so pretty. I got this one from the idea of this. I did was from makeup. Um, I believe it was makeup for fun. Um, she's in, she's on YouTube. She did a creation like this on her Instagram and I, I followed her Instagram and I seen this and I had to have it and I'm keeping it because these chromes alone are like butter. Like, look at that. I'm keeping this cause I love it. This is a cap. Lethal Cosmetics, I probably will be getting more stuff from them. Next is another Sydney Grace, Tiny Marvels. I love this palette, but I don't get to use it. I, I, I bought it because I love Mel's. Mel um, cre created this, Mel Thomas, and it's so beautiful. I love it, but I feel so bad that I don't get to use it, and I don't want it to go to waste. I just love, it's, I love this whole roll right here. This is the role I love in that one green. Everything else to me is simple, it's cool, it's cute, but I don't, I don't use it. Someone, someone else that will use it to get the most use they can get out of it. It's a beautiful palette, so beautiful, but I just don't use it and I don't reach for it as much. And I have these colors in new palettes. Um, what I did was I took a picture of this, the artwork. This is what attracted me to it. I took a picture of the artwork so I could keep it for myself and to remember how it looks because this was so beautiful and so unique, the idea. So I took a picture of that and this is how I will be keeping that in my collection is the picture and I will be framing the picture. Um, but as far as the palette, I'm going to have to pass this along because I will be keeping this one. I'll be keeping this one, which is in love and memory of Mel Thomas. I'll be keeping this color story and using that one a lot. This one I will be selling. It will be linked in my Macari. And like I said, I love this story, but I don't use it. And I, it's been sitting in my collection since I bought it. So I will be. You will be able to see this on the card, basically. So if you want to, you can definitely see about it. But definitely love the concept. And I'm taking a picture of that. So I'm going to put that on the Ducata for now. Next, she's in the party. Very cute. Very cute. She's cute. She's crumbled. She's very crumbled. But she's cute. So this one is more like maybe the clutter because I just got the Natasha Denona and I feel like these colors are very similar. What I'm going to do is hold on to that and I'm going to bring out Retro. 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 And this. There it goes. Like I really have to. This alone makes me angry. That alone makes me angry. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm comparing it to colors. This color kind of reminds me of that color. That color. This color, I really got to dig in. No, it's not the same. Let's try this color. That color is so pretty. I don't even think I got anything that color. Maybe this one? 
Yeah, I kind of do. I kind of do. Almost. Almost do. Okay, so that's that's good enough for me. Try it out. Okay. Eh, it's not. It's a little more pinkish. That color's a little dustier. Kind of like that color more. They're not the same too much. Like the colors is a little off. I'm gonna repress this down. Oh, nope. There it goes. Oop. Okay. Yeah. Is a situation here. I'm. I'm just gonna keep this because I don't like selling stuff that's bad. So I'm gonna keep that for now, even though it's a hot mess. It'll be kept. So we're in our melt right now. We're, we're like getting out of melt. So next is Gemini. I love these colors. They're very cute. They're, they're definitely something I would like. Um, I don't have nothing like this in my collection. Definitely don't. I definitely don't have nothing like that. I just like this one. It's very, I waited for this color story for a long time. So I think I'm going to keep it. But this one is the question mark for me, this one here. I love these colors. But I feel like they're kind of similar, aren't they? Hmm. We about to do a test. Okay, that green looks like. This green. Hmm, a little bit. This green. Let's see. I just feel like that one. I kinda I kinda like that green better on that one. Yeah, I kinda do. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, so this green is way better than that green to me. These greens right here, I'm not really a fan of that. Those, so this is how I'm going to do it. This is how I'm going to make my decision on things that I want, me personally. Hmm, no. It's not me. I can't. Uh, I already have a color like that. Metropolis. I kind of have these colors in Metropolis. That doesn't mean I need to use this. I love Melt for their consistency. I love them for what they they stand for and what you know how beautiful their palettes look. But I don't like how it's made. Like I don't like palettes that's like this. So Gemini is so pretty. I'm going to take a picture of it. It's very pretty. But I think I'm going to get rid of it. So this one is going to declutter. This one, I'm keeping. I like the rosy look. I'm keeping this one. So put the stuff that I may be decluttering right there. And this one, I'm definitely going to put in a maybe. It just made me so mad that it did that. This is definitely a maybe the clutter. This is definitely a maybe clutter um, because I just got a little mad when that just popped out like that. So um, that's one of the maybe. We're on to the last pack with graph. I am a collector. I was a collector until I started seeing too much pinks that ruined my eyes. <laughs> but I'm still kind of collecting Pat McGrath. So I'm still like in love with her formula so this is the reason why i kept most of all her palettes is because of that and most of the palettes i'm going to still continue to keep this one which is i believe this one is sublime i'm keeping because i love this one it's just so pretty the green in here the pink this is this is another reason why i could get rid of the 
melt is because it's kind of similar with the green and stuff like that, but this just packs a better punch. So, so Sublime will be staying. I'm thinking about getting rid of the the boxes because I've been having them for quite a while. <laughs> They're getting a little damaged, if you see. A little damaged. But eh, that's for another video. Next is the bronze. I know I'm keeping this one, but I just want to look at it again because it's so pretty. So It's so pretty. This is so pretty. I'm keeping this one. I don't even have to even go to that length of making a story about it. I'm keeping it. It's just getting kept. So that's kept. I'm going to hold on to these three. These three over here are like, might be going out of my collection. Because I already got some rose stuff. Um, Subversive. This is the well talked about Pat McGrath. Only because this color here and that color here. But then I look at some colors, like I already have some of these colors. See, that's another reason why, like, I already have some of these colors, but some of them don't hit like that. And this color right here. It's a little chalky. A little chalky, but you get the point. <laughs> okay, so this is a little chalky, but all right, I'm gonna make my decision this way. Don't judge. That color. That color. That color. And this color are my favorites. I'm keeping. <laughs> I just I just popped it on my hand and I'm like, I'm keeping it. It's staying. <laughs> it's staying. <laughs> the rest of you you continue to have a home in my home. You're staying. You can stay. Next, Midnight Sun, my other baby. Midnight Sun. Oop, if it could come out. Midnight Sun is so pretty. Mm. I'm keeping Midnight Sun. I just love it, so I'm I'm gonna keep it. Midnight nice Sun, you can stay. You'll have a home here forever. <laughs> and it definitely can stay. I just love the artwork and the color stories. It's so pretty. I'm feeling good about what I'm getting rid of and what I'm keeping. So as long as I feel good about it, I can care less about anything else. That's what your collection should be. It should be not a guilt trip to keep what you want. It should be what you feel good about having and what you will be using. So... Keep that in mind when you're decluttering and when you're, you know, you're buying makeup. Make it an expression of yourself. Don't make it an expression of what someone else is buying just because they're buying it and telling you it's so good. It's up to you at the end of the day. Okay, so Divine Rose, um, the original Divine Rose right here. And this one is the newer, the other one that came out before that is Divine Rose 2. Not similar. They are not similar at any case. I'm keeping this one because I love this color story. A lot of people don't like Divine Rose color story. I think it was perfectly executed. I think it's beautiful. That's another reason why it will be staying in my collection because I just like the moves, the mauves, the mauves in it, the pinks, the shimmers. Everything was, it was on hook. This was good. So that's staying. Um, this one, on the other hand, this is another one that, Honestly, looking at this and the Pat McGraths I have, it makes me come back to Melt. I'm sorry, um, Melt Cosmetics. And it's like, the, if this is going to be the only Melt one I'm keeping, I need to get stop having so many pinks, right? But the pinks are not the same. So, and this, this, this Melt one, like I said, I'm getting rid of it, Gemini. So I'm going to give it a Gemini 1 to keep Gemini 2. Some people may disagree with me and say, oh, that's, you know, but that's what I like, you know, to, to each his own and all your collection. I like more pinks and nubes and purples and shimmers of, you know, different multi-chromes and stuff. Some people might not like that. So it's definitely to each his own when it comes to your collection and keep what you really want, you know, 
I don't have a lot of indie brands anymore because I'm cutting down on them. I feel like they produce them too much. And I just want to get what's worth for my money if I'm going to be buying makeup and using it. And I want to get, oops, excuse me. I want to get stuff that I'm going to be using. So a lot of it comes down to that is if I'm using it or if I'm not. And Pat McGrath offers special, Pat McGrath offers special shades that I actually like and I'll be looking for. So when it comes to her stuff, I know I'm going to get a bang for my buck. I know I'm going to get something I can wear a night out and, and feel so beautiful and, you know, not worry about a fallout or anything like that. And that's what you pay your money for is with stuff that you get like that. So for a distance example, I'm not getting rid of my Pat McGraths. I'm actually keeping them because the ones she made prior to the new ones is something you can actually wear. And I think I will be picking up for my first buy of this year as far as makeup because I buy a lot of nail polishes. <laughs> That's another declutter too. But um, I think I will be picking up her last mothership. So that one will possibly be coming soon to add to my collection because I feel like it's worth some of the things that she makes is worth it, especially when it comes to a mothership because it's, a, it's, a, it's a, not a 20 pan, it's a nine pan. And I feel like it's so worth it if the colors is going to be majestic. And I'm going to start using majestic. Like, just like that, majestic. And, you know, so pretty and so, like, different. So is a is a vestment? Yes. Is it worth it? Depending on the color story, if it's worth it for you. Um, but as far as I'm seeing it, I'm keeping all my Pat McGraths, as usual. They're staying. I'm keeping Natasha here, the retro. I'm keeping in love and memory of Mel, that's kept. I'm keeping Natasha Denona Lila. I'm keeping Bibia. This one is because I don't have any really neutral ones in my back, my my thing. So I'm keeping that. I'm keeping Sunrise, Natasha Denona. I'm keeping my dream palette. It's kept. I'm keeping Trio Calm because I like the color story and I'll be using it more. Um, okay, I'm back at this one. I'm going to go and throw this in the maybe list, and that's one of the clutter. I'm keeping Fairy. Uh, you know what? I'm not going to keep this one. I just thought about it, and I'm like, mm, I'm going to put it on maybe the clutter. So... This is kept retro. Lethal Cosmetics is kept. This is the Lethal Cosmetics palette makeup for makeup just for fun. She did it, and I recreated it, and I loved it, and I'm keeping it. Um, Minted, I'm definitely keeping this one because I love the compact of it and the color in it. The formula is good. I'm keeping one Anastasia that I still have, and this is being kept because the greens are so pretty. It only has like three greens but it oh my god it has a this terracotta shade it's kept now on to the what i was thinking about keeping oh, let's see that color is what keeps me in this those two colors right there my favorite colors i'm keeping that just for that alone now to what I will be decluttering from my collection. Keep in mind, and keep in mind that this is all I have in my collection right now. All this over here that I'm keeping is all I have. And maybe I might buy another Pat McGrath. Maybe. But Fairy Frolic will be decluttered. As you can see, the condition is like brand new. Like brand new. Um, Un Urban Decay, Born to Run, decluttered. That's one, two. Gemini, decluttered. Mm. Decluttered. Yeah, decluttered. I'm going to look at it one more time. Yeah, decluttered. She's in a party. Decluttered. That shit is a hot mess. Tiny Marvels, decluttered. Metropolis. I'll be 
since I don't have no green so I'm getting rid of the melt I'm thinking about keeping either the gold palette all right I'm getting rid of the gold keeping the metropolis keeping metropolis getting rid of the gold so that's one two three four five six six declutters and I'm keeping all of these And all my motherships. So, all my motherships. So, that is the end of this video, guys. I thank you so much for watching my final, not final, but one of my declutters for 2023 and what I have left as far as my makeup. So, everything here is kept. I'm keeping these. Everything over there is a push and move on. I'm not keeping those. Um, so, these will be on my Macari, which will be linked in the description. Um, I thank you guys so much for watching and taking the time out to watch the video. And if you like it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new and you like the content and would like more videos from me. Definitely let me know in the future. Until then, guys, have a good day and bye.